everyone, welcome to another Upcrate video. Um, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing Upcrate 29, which is the January Upcrate and the first Upcrate of 2022. So this arrived today, unfortunately, because this is a, um, I believe, German box and I'm in the UK. This video is a couple of weeks after it was, after I had the dispatch email, because obviously you have to allow for a longer time for it to arrive. But um, yeah. Let's have a little look inside anyway. Okay. So this is my second up crate. And um, yeah, I really liked the first one. Let's get these out of the way. Oh, battle post is square this time. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Some paper. Stickers. Got my clear stickers. And print. Okay, that print's very interesting. So I really like these colours. Yeah, so let's not look at that too much. Um, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got the stickers. This feels like watercolour paper. Oh, there's only three bits in there. So we might have to swatch somewhere else. Anyway, battle post. So let's start with these, they weren't in the packet. We've got Liquitex Professional Soft Body Acrylic in Muted Turquoise. Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic in Muted Violet. That looks like a palette knife. Okay, Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic in Reflex Yellow. That's extremely bright. Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic in Titanium White. We have Rembrandt Art Design Lyra Germany Pencil in a B. It's very nice. A Lineo Lineo Synthetic Paintbrush in size 8. And we have a Royal Talons palette knife. Okay, so I've never used a palette knife for painting before, only cake decorating, so this will be interesting. Let's have a look at the print again. So this is Upcrate X Art by Mar Miranda Melun Camp. So apologies if I've got that wrong. So Miranda gives painting courses. Okay, so it's a bit abstracty, I think. Very nice anyway, I'm loving these colours. Look at Battle Post. I'm really shocked to see this little little magazine on it. It's like a can't see that. Okay, <laughs> like five size, there we go. It just talks us through everything. All the colours in the Liquitex soft body acrylic. Oh, so this is Canson paper. Oh, acrylic paper. Okay, I've never seen acrylic paper look like that before. Normally it's like, it almost looks like a canvas. But that looks like watercolour paper anyway, so that's good. So it's thick with a high grammage, ideal for working with diluted acrylic paints. So the Lyra pencil, pure graphite and natural binders. So the pencils are for designers and artists. But I've I think I've used Liquitex paint before, but I've never used Amsterdam. Um, but I've seen these around quite a lot, so I'm quite excited to use these. I have to say I'm a little bit worried about this box because I, I, I don't do acrylic. And I don't even own any acrylics, but we'll have a go anyway. Also, it's a painting knife from um, Talons, which is Royal Talons. The brush, a bit from the co-captain, co-captain's tips. A how to video, so lots of little things to try there. So, what I shall do is I'm going to swatch these and I might have a little bit of a like read up upgrade battle review 2021. So, this is going through everything that came up last year. Look forward to going through that. Sailor month, there's so much to read in these. How to acrylic, yes, yes, I need to know that. Very interesting and scary box for someone that does not do acrylic paint. Okay, so the upgrade battle is battle topic. Here we go. What can you see? 
Okay, so it says, beauty lies in the eye of the beholder and so does the meaning and emotional value of any piece of art. The theme of the month, what can you see, gives you an opportunity to show the rest of art crew and us your unique vision on abstract art. Not gonna lie, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do probably a little bit more research. Um, but anyway, I knew there was paint in this, so I saw spoilers, so I have come prepared. <laughs> I have some water, but I don't think I'm really gonna need that. I should have got a palette. I don't know where my palettes are. It's not a clean palette, but it's a palette. <laughs> Ooh. Let's have a little swatchy swatch. Get these out of the way so I don't get. I've seen the stickers more close up. Do I want to go straight for this? No. I don't want to swatch on that because there's only three pieces here. More manageable sizes. Hi guys, well this is me coming to you a couple of days after the swatch um, in voiceover because for some reason my camera had cut out halfway through swatching. So here is a still of the swatch cards that I did. Um, after this I stopped recording and I went away for 24 hours and thought about what I was going to do. Um, where I encountered more problems <laughs> with the camera which stopped recording probably five minutes into the artwork. So um, I had to then scrap that artwork and start another piece, <laughs> which is the piece you're seeing now. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll catch up at the end.
guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video obviously the theme of this box was like abstract um and for a really long time i really couldn't think what to do with it because i just didn't want to like chuck a load of paint on the paper with no rhyme or reason um but i uh I did think about it for a little while and the colours really just reminded me of Billie Eilish um, and her green hair. That's what I kind of based the piece on. Obviously this is her logo in it, but I was just kind of had her song Bad Guy in my head as I was doing it. Hope it's got like the vibes of, of that song um, in it. It's certainly the right colours, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I've been really surprised by this box because when I saw spoilers and I found out that it was abstract art, I was, oh, I was just not into it. But you know what? Like, I've had the most fun doing paintings like this. It's been amazing. Um, this is actually the second painting I did um, for this video. The first painting um, I just did. Let me get this out of the way because it's probably still a little bit wet. Um, I did the background and my <laughs> my camera cut out so I, <laughs> and I didn't realise for like I'd virtually finished the painting so <laughs> I had to start again obviously it's not got the figure on or anything but um, I tried to kind of use the same um, techniques so this is a bit busier but yeah so anyway so that's one upgrade piece um, and this is obviously the piece for the video so um, I'd love to know what you think of this box, like do you like abstract art? I'm not a fan of looking at it personally, I really have enjoyed doing it but I think actually the more, I'm going to do more of this and, and I think as I as I do more I think I'll appreciate it more. It's been, it's been a learning curve and um, I've, I've you know, got to do something new which is always amazing in art. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this box, um, yeah was this something that you'd like to have a go at yourself? Um, I'll leave a link below which will get you discount on um, Upgrade when you take out a subscription. I'm not sure what the percentage is but it's like a percentage of your first box. Also I'll leave the links below to my show, social media accounts. So it's at Zoe Hartist, at Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and Facebook. Um, and until next time please give us a like, subscribe and I'll see you then. Bye.